Ladies and gentlemen, the Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott has finally come out and given a statement in regards to the pending lawsuit held against him by his accuser, Victoria Shores, in the sexual assault case and in his initial extortion case against her. So it's been reported by the Star-Telegram today that Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is cooperating with the Dallas police as part of the RAPE investigation. In a continuing effort to show his innocence and transparency in regards to an alleged sexual assault, Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott recently submitted to an interview with Dallas police as part of their ongoing investigation. The interview took place at Dallas Police Department headquarters per a source familiar with the situation. Prescott's lawyer, Levi McCathern, confirmed the interview. Prescott initially filed an 11-page lawsuit in Collin County in March against Victoria Shores of Fort Worth and her attorneys Yoel Ziha and Bethel Ziha saying they are attempting to extort $100 million from him to settle a claim for an alleged sexual assault from 2017. According to a letter sent to Prescott earlier this year by her attorneys, Shore says she will be willing to forego pursuing criminal charges along with disclosing his information to the public in exchange for compensating her for the mental anguish she has suffered. Prescott denied the sexual assault claim in a text to the Star-Telegram. This is our first time actually receiving official word from Dak Prescott in regards to this case. She is trying to get $100 million from me to not report a rap case. I'm gonna say it like that because of YouTube. I obviously did not do, Prescott said. Exactly, I think that's the biggest thing in this whole case that just, it just really gives you some calls for pause. Outside of my own questions about the competency of her lawyers that she has employed for this case, because again, man, I know a lot of y'all are like, what, what does that have anything to do with it? Why are you talking to us about the lawyer and, 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 and the fact that you knew him or blah, 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 blah. Guys, the reason I brought this up is because people are looking at these cases and when people hear about these kind of cases, they instantly assume innocence on behalf of the accuser. They instantly assume that the accusers and her team are on the side of justice. And my whole point in discussing with you in my previous video about this particular case, go ahead and check it out. I got a whole series going for this. I'm gonna put it in the playlist for you and make it easy for you to follow along. But my whole point in discussing my personal experience with the lawyer um, from this case, was to demonstrate the fact that this dude, based off of what I know of him, I know that he's not some high moralistic character. He's not some dude of high morals that's just looking to do the right things at the right times at all times. Based on my own experiences, I can tell you right now, this lawyer trying to ambulance chase and trying to essentially stick up a, a, an athlete, a professional athlete, is not at all beyond a reasonable doubt as far as what this dude would be capable of. And I'm not the only one that, that would say the things that I said about him. After I made that video, other people from the college we went to began to reach out to me, and they also had a similar experience with him as far as just his disposition as a person and how he carried himself. So the only reason I brought that up, the only reason it's relevant at all is because I'm just adding context to who we're dealing with that's going after Dak Prescott. I feel like that is important information to know just as people and onlookers that may not know about this situation. If you know a little bit about the background of the people that are accusing or going after Dak for these things, then who knows? Some of the people that may have been super quick to jump to instantly believe this story, once they get that information and see that, oh, okay, so I can't assume that just because he's a lawyer and he's taking this type of case that he's doing it for the right reasons based off of what we know about him previously and some of his ideals and thoughts as it pertains to black men in general as it already stands. We, we have already gone over that. Again, if you want to check that out, take out my previous video. But to me, that is the most weird and strange part about this whole thing. And, and, and honestly, I think the biggest mistake is the fact that upon originally reaching out on the demand letter, saying that you're willing to not let any of this information get out and you, you, you're you essentially saying you're not you're willing to not hold him accountable as long as he sends you some money real quick everything will be good you ain't gonna create a mess for him that that right there the setup in itself doesn't sound like someone speaking on behalf of a victim of a crime right that doesn't sound like someone's a victim especially a crime like this that, that, that that's being accused of which is very freaking serious and anybody that that has committed this type of crime they need to be held accountable i, I don't want that to 
I don't want any of that to get confused in, in the way I'm covering this case. I'm just very, very sure in the information that I already know the information I haven't told you guys that I know and just, I'm very sure in how this case is gonna play out. I'm just, I'm just gonna put it like that, right? I, I'm just gonna ask you guys a question. When have you ever heard of people with celebrity status and people that are on a high platform, a high level platform, when have you ever heard of them not having different systems in place in order to protect themselves or not having access to cameras or anything like that? I'm just gonna, just gonna ask y'all that, all right? But either way, man, that in itself, the fact that she was willing to not get justice and hold this dude accountable and take him off the streets. If this is someone that's doing this to women, take him off the streets. That is just sketchy to me, man. That that whole thing is just super sketchy. Uh, but Prescott's lawyer said, Prescott did nothing wrong and says the truth will prevail. We reported their criminal behavior to the Prosper Police Department and have been fully cooperative with them, the captain said. When Mrs. Shores doubled down on her false claim of sexual assault and reported it to the Dallas Police Department, we proactively reached out to cooperate with them as well. Dak has nothing to hide. He did nothing wrong. He has and will continue to fully cooperate with any investigation, knowing the truth is on his side. According to Dallas police, an investigation into the case remains active. Prosper Texas police are investigating Prescott's extortion claims against the accuser. So that's the latest update on the Dak Prescott lawsuit. Uh, again, we're just gonna keep track of this. I'm gonna put this all in a playlist to make it easy for you guys to follow along with this whole little saga. So that way when it all comes to a head, we'll, you'll be able to see exactly how everything was playing out from beginning to end without these huge gaps in between and trying to leave out bits and pieces of the story and stuff like that to make one side or the other look better. I'm reporting every detail that comes out, whether it's a, a good development for the case or a bad development for the case is going to get reported, man. I think that I owe that to you guys. And I owe that to myself being that Dak Prescott is my favorite player. I have all the confidence in the world that by no means do I think that he would ever be attached to something like this at all. There's not a shadow of a doubt in my mind that he would be attached to something like this, but also me being a grown man with a family and, and me essentially trying to establish a business and run a business here, I have to be proactive in making sure that I'm taking the necessary steps to protect my brand as well. And I attach my brand to my favorite player in the NFL. I attach my, my platform for talking about the NFL and talking about my favorite team in the Cowboys. I attach that my, and my brand to this player. With that being the case, I'm definitely going to do my due diligence in making sure that I report everything that needs to be reported here, right? Uh, but again, not a shadow of a doubt in my mind how this is going to play out. You guys, let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below, man. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. We steal them same old cowboys. Calling me, texting me, paging me, asking me, am I still the ball? Y'all use the check on me. Listen, 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 listen. I'm still them boys. Hey, hey! Woo, hold on, my boy, Hey!